Hello, 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 sir. Meet me at the grocer. Yes, sir. No, sir. I don't remember the whole song, but my mother used to sing that song while she used to bounce the ball. Um, it's kind of like my mother's anniversary. Yesterday was the day of her transitioning. So I just wanted to start the video off with some memory of my mom. So this is um, chapter three here, though, in this Nazarene New Testament. And we just finished chapter two. So the end of chapter two was the... Um, was pretty good. It says, it's talking about Jaleel and the prophecy of their second coming. And this is the authorized report of their first coming in the flesh. So now we know who the author is. We're ready to move on to chapter three. And lucky for you guys, I already did this chapter three. I'm going to show you this playlist that I just put together because we're about to do chapter five. And I've already did three and four. So I got this, the order of the Immaculate Conception. It's really important. You've seen those two videos I did yesterday, the background to the Holy Incarnations. Yes, that's chapter two. Now this is chapter three, the revelation of the angel and the establishment of the order of the Immaculate Conception. But chapter three is very long. It's over 400 verses. So I didn't do the whole thing. I'm going to read a few paragraphs from it. Um, maybe at the end of this video today, because at the end of it, it tells us that nevertheless, it is a spiritual truth that the more purified the parents are and the more spiritualized the conception is, the greater the likelihood of attracting to the womb a highly evolved soul. And this is the purpose of the order of the Immaculate Conception. Okay, so the angel Gabriel, go watch those two videos about this. Um, Chapter 3, the revelation of the angel and the establishment of the order of the Immaculate Conception. So you can understand what that is. It's going to talk about it more right now. It says, um, all of them who embrace the disciplines of the order of the Immaculate Conception will attract to the womb highly evolved souls. And the family lines that continue seven generations will open the door into this realm for the purest souls to incarnate. Even our God and goddess imminent the Lord Christ and Lady Christ. For behold, King Jade and Queen Jana come as man and woman with their glory veiled. They will limit their powers to that which a perfected man and woman are capable of, that they may demonstrate the potential of the human being. And to show the fullness of human potential, they will wear bodies purified by seven immaculate conceptions. For a lesser body could not hold the powerful vibrations of their souls even though their glory be veiled. So, yea, the Lord and the Lady will take incarnation into the two family lines that maintain the highest degree of purity for seven generations. For lo, even amongst those who maintain the disciplines of immaculate conception, some do so to a higher degree and with greater commitment. So this is what all chapter three is about, the scroll of the angel on the immaculate conception. All right, and that was... You want to watch that he might and then i also have chapter four which is the this is really good it's about john the baptist the reincarnation of john the baptist so you want to see that it's all in the playlist and the video we're about to do right now see chapter four the prophecy of malachi fulfilled so right now we're about to do chapter five joseph and mary as youth in the order of the immaculate conception so this is exciting and I hope that you get a chance to see chapter three and understand what this is, because you may not fully get it just by jumping in here to chapter five, but you also may get it. So here we go. Behold, many years have passed since the founding of the order of the Immaculate Conception. It was now the sixth generation since Yakezia had been given the scroll of the, of the angel on the Immaculate Conception. Wherefore, there was great excitement among the Nasarian brethren and sistren. For lo, according to the words of the angel Gabriel, this generation would give birth to the seventh generation body suitable for the incarnation of the Lord and Lady. A number of bloodlines had apparently maintained the required level of purity for six consecutive generations, though only Yahweh, YHWH, could know for certain. Mary, who would be the mother of the Lord, 
though this was not yet known to any but Jaja and Elohim, uh, was one of the maidens from bloodline, was one of the maidens from bloodlines that had apparently performed the Immaculate Conception for six consecutive generations. Joseph, who was to be the father of the Lord, though this was not yet known to any but Jaja and Elohim, was one of the young men from bloodlines that had apparently performed the Immaculate Conception for six consecutive generations. But Joseph and Mary were raised mostly at the Nasserian Kabutus Shah, east of Mount Carmel, for it was their home campus within the order of the Immaculate Conception. So you really want to go watch those videos to understand about this home campus and what the order was, right? So you can have a better understanding. So it says Joseph and Mary were raised here, right? Lo, the youths of this home campus were taken often to Mount Carmel to receive training from the priest and priestess who lived on the holy mount. For the Kwabutasha was not on Mount Carmel, but near it to the east. Behold, the holy mountain was so sacred that only a small number of Nasserian priests and priestesses lived there. This way, the natural beauty was not overly disturbed. The Aaronites mostly stayed away from the parts of the mountain considered most sacred to the Nasserians, for lo, the wizards among the Nasserian lions chanted incantations to keep defilers away. Those incantations are greatly enhanced when chanted in forest power spots, where the natural forces are abundant and vibrant. Even so, the incantations do not prevent one with great intent from entering an area. Lo, when the students of the Nasserian Kwabutasha located east of the holy mountain came to learn from the priests and priestesses who re recited atop Carmel, they were exceedingly respectful of the sacred forest, for behold, they were taught as children to revere the beauty of Mother Nature and that the temple on Carmel was especially sacred. The Nasserian temple on the holy mountain was not, for st not of stone, but was a large yurt. Uh, and one day, the youths of the Order of the Immaculate Conception were taken to the Nasserian Temple atop Carmel to observe initia an initiation ritual. Yea, several youths, including 13-year-old Mary, were to be initiated into the Order of the Immaculate Conception. And Joseph, who was 19, had already and already initiated, was amongst the assembled youth of the wood of the Order who beheld the ritual. He was still a youth because in the order of the Immaculate Conception, the right to marry was at age 20. Though for other Nasserians, that right came at age 18. Lo, when Mary standing before the altar of YHWH made her vow of initiation, Joseph beheld a vision. Yea, he saw an angel of YHWH standing behind Mary, and he heard angelic voices singing praises to the chosen vessel of Omen, our God and Goddess. And Joseph marveled, for apparently he was the only one to see this vision. As Joseph stood with the assembled brethren and sister, and he saw Mary look directly at him as though she could see his very soul. Within himself, he said, though next year I am of age to marry, I will wait seven years for this holy maiden if she will have me. And if it be the will of Jaja. And Mary looked at Joseph. And when Mary looked at Joseph, behold, she saw a vision. She saw an angel of YHWH standing behind Joseph, and she heard angelic voices singing praises to the chosen seed of Omen, our God and Goddess. And Mary marveled, for apparently she was the only one to see this vision within herself. She said, He is the chosen seed of Jaja. -Ja. If he will have me, and if it be the will of Ja and Jala, I will be his wife, though they showed no apparent signs of witness in the vision. Several of the Nasserian priests and priestesses in the temple had indeed seen the angelic vision, yea, and heard the angelic chorus within themselves. They rejoiced. All right, so that was chapter five. Now, I've also read some of this already, too, and I'm going to add it to the playlist, too. But I wanted to put on, put five, chapter five on the playlist first, and then I got to go. I got something on this. This is long, too. The marriage of Joseph and Mary. But that was sweet, huh? Joseph was older than her, and he said he would wait seven years until she became of the age to marry if she would have him. So, hmm, that's just, man, I love these stories. 
and I hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, I did want to read a little more to you out of chapter three, but that'll just have to wait until we get another short chapter like this because we're already at 10 minutes. But okay, guys, so look for this playlist and get yourselves caught up on what the order of the Immaculate Conception is so that you can understand a little more in depth what was had to happen for the incarnation of Yeshua and Miriam. You can't leave her out, the Lord and the Lady Christ. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to get some more of this New Testament up here. I want to do every chapter so you could just listen to it throughout. All right, stay tuned. Do something good today. Thanks for watching.